completely unique, slightly surreal, and highly interesting. As an art form, abstract art has gained in popularity since the late 1800s. It was a time when artists felt a need to express their feelings about the changes in the world, and it soon became a mainstream of the contemporary art scene. Outstanding works by masters of abstract style have inspired later generations through their personal experiments in trying to create a new and legitimate but unfamiliar art form. Like when you look at Kazmir Malevich's Black Square, you see a simple solid color painting. But this is one of the milestones for art historians with no quote right way to look at it, but a personal meaning for everyone. But one of the most influential abstract artists, Wassily Kandinsky, believed in colors that connected with emotions. He used red for confidence, green for peace, and blue for deep meanings. In an attempt to solve the puzzles surrounding non-objective paintings, Showcase took the opportunity to meet two artists at an Istanbul art gallery where we asked them about their style. I do uh, abstract works, artworks, and uh, because I can express my emotions, feelings, and thinking, thoughts, uh, by very freely than the other styles, especially and the figurative styles. And the pair share similar views. I usually work on figures. I take a slice out of them and question the relationship between figures and imaginary meanings and my own knowledge. And obviously, I don't do it in the classical way, but literally reflect a figure. And just a glimpse of one of his paintings reveals some of the secrets. There are two motions in this one. My purpose is to catch the rhythm and the expression. It turns into something complete from the excitement of the first brush stroke. For me, it's in the form of a chain, although it doesn't show itself symbolically. Non-figurative art has, for more than a century, been a way of integrating viewers and artists. It's about sharing things both have in common, whether it's childhood memories or the artist's good and bad days. So in the future, when curiosity kicks in, just go ahead and take a second look and find out how you really feel about a piece of art.